Welcome everyone, this is Master's Joke. Also Master's Joke 75 on Instagram. Live from Abu Dhabi. Did, did, <laughs> did you watch my Toys R Us video yesterday? Abu Dhabi? It takes your brain to another dimension. <laughs> Honestly, this place is just amazing. And they've got a Virgin Megastore. Now, I haven't been in Virgin Megastore for years and years and years since it well i think probably the last one Maybe would have been in orlando <laughs> my son was gutted because the slide was closed apparently it's closed at weekends but we went in here i wanted to have a check i, I wanted to check it out it's, it's all nostalgia because you must know by now i'm a sucker for nostalgia but yeah we were looking for um five nights at freddy's for my son i wanted to look see if i had any star wars <laughs> figures because there was nothing no star wars figures look at this this is a great funko pop commissioner gordon but they were they had no star wars in toys r us which was unbelievable loads of new stranger things funko pops most well a lot of them my sons got already but oh, they had some really really good ones especially well, it, it, they had the um they had henry uh, which was a i think it was a comic con exclusive so yeah, some um, <laughs> some really interesting uh, Funko Pops figures, but j just just being it, I mean, Abby Dabby, it <laughs> every day it just blows my mind. There's just something new. The Yaz Mall, oh, it it'll take you days to walk around it. There's just so much stuff there, and um, I've mentioned before that you, you can forget. Look, at it, they have got some Five Nights at Freddy's stuff here. Still got the circus figures. Didn't have any any other action figures in relation to FNAF. But, um, yeah, I mean, the, the Yasmo was so big. And I've said before that you, you can forget about Orlando and uh, Disney and Universal. The magic's gone. There, there is no magic there. Constantly looking at the app on your phone to see if you can get on this ride, get on that ride. This place is just amazing. But I mentioned um, a while ago that there's, you know, you go to the outlets, there's no bargains anymore, there's no deals. You're better off going, you're better off going to um, the, the, the um, outlets at Wembley Stadium. You know, there's, there's no deals anymore in America. But um, although Abby Dabby, some things are expensive. Like they have they have got Black Series Star Wars, no vintage collection. But although um, some things are expensive in Abby Dabby, like alcohol, thank goodness I don't drink anymore. Um, I mean, Timberland, I mean, I love Timberland. They had a massive sale on, absolutely massive. They were selling like hoodies, sweatshirts for like, worked out about 40, 43 pounds, T-shirts. I mean, there's sales in Timberland in Milton Keynes, but um, and 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 of course you've you've got the um, the outlets at the uh, the O2 Arena as well. But this place, it's just amazing, and it's only um, like a ten minute walk from um, our hotel at the uh, the Warner Brothers Hotel. So it's got something for everyone. But yeah, I mean, I just love nostalgia. And, uh, and of course, I had to go and have a, go upstairs, have a look, <laughs> look at the, uh, the records and CDs. Um, I used to love going in Virgin Megastore, uh, the one at Tottenham Court Road, and um, and, and the other one on Oxford Street. Um, but I also used to love going to the one, um, the, was it the Virgin Megastore at Downtown Disney? before they pulled it down and oh, I don't know, I don't know what they, I can't, remember, I can't remember what they put up. Was it that NBA cafe? I can't remember. Because I haven't been there for, I haven't been to Orlando now since, was Disney Springs since, uh, um, was it May, May 2019? Because if you remember my, uh, my 2020, March the 31st on the day got cancelled for uh, obvious reasons. But yeah, it was just great having a walk around, checking out the, the vinyl records, uh, reliving my youth. And also it was good that my son was able to to kind of uh, join me. But um, one of the things that, <laughs> that kind of uh, blew me away is not only, <laughs> not only do they sell CDs and vinyl, they also sell cassettes. I couldn't believe it. 
because I used to buy like loads of tapes back in the day, but I actually sell um, audio cassettes. I, don't, I, don't, I thought they'd, well, I assumed they'd stopped selling that kind of stuff, but <laughs> they got the Sex Pistols there. They also had Guardians of the Galaxy soundtrack on cassette. I mean, I think I've look, I've still got all my cassettes, but who who still buys cassettes? I, I mean, I, I love the nostalgia attached to it, but who still buys cassettes? <laughs> I couldn't believe they had Guardians of the Galaxy, but um, they also had a, a little tape recorder. Thing is, though, <laughs> I'm sure loads of people know about this, but I didn't know you could still buy tape recorders and and things like that. And then they had the uh, arcade one up machines. I mean, we, you know, my son has got the uh, the Pac-Man machine already at home, but oh, I love the arcade one-ups. I'd love to get the Star Wars one, which my wife ordered me for Christmas from Smith Toys a couple of years ago. And um, in the end, uh, Smith Toys, uh, the order got cancelled and they um, gave me a £15 voucher or something. It was, it was the sit-down version. It was just as well, really, because I didn't have the room for it. And I've, <laughs> if you saw my toy room tour video, was it last week? You'll see why I haven't got any room for any more arcade one-up machines. But yeah, that, it was great. It was a great, um, great trip down <laughs> memory lane. And uh, yeah, had a little look at the uh, comics. Not, um, I mean, I used to love going to, I mean, again, this was Tower Records as well. I used to love Tower Records, HMV. And you got, I'd spend ages, like, reading the magazines and, 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 like, the FHMs and stuff. But now, no, I didn't see any magazines in there. Look at the thickness of this Fantastic Four book. It was absolutely massive. If I had four, then I'd, I'd probably need help to get it off me. But, yeah, the, honestly, if you, if you get a chance... You've got to get down to um, you've got you've got to get down to Abu Dhabi or or Dubai. I mean, both places are fantastic, but you know you've got you've got all these um, these nostalgia moments and trips down memory lane, reliving your youth. It's got everything, and then you've got the theme parks as well. Absolutely love it. But I hope you've enjoyed my little tour of the Virgin Megastore, which blew me away. I've got to be honest. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Much more to come. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It lets me know you care. And uh, I'll see you in the next one.